Hello, welcome to my channel, Connection of Lives and Interests. This is Sharon coming to you with a ride along to go back to Columbia, returning home from, oh, there's a whole bunch of RVs on the right. I didn't know that was a dealer, or it says service, but they can't all be needing service. No, they can't. <laughs> I know you couldn't see it. I don't think you could over to the right. But, um, went to Charleston Monday. Today's Thursday, April 13th. It's my daughter's birthday. And I left her some surprise birthday balloons in her kitchen tied to the chairs. She'll, she's working all day today, so... By the time I get home, she said she'll go home and she'll find the balloons. Who doesn't like coming home to a surprise of balloons? Oh, that's got to be an electric car because it looks like it's from outer space. I don't know if you can make it out. Speaking of which, um, Charleston is, I don't, okay, y'all can tell me about your area too. Not only have they been talking about pushing out more electric cars, but they have been doing it. And they have electric charging stations at different places in Charleston. I didn't get any videos of them. I was too busy. But I was like looking at them going, oh my gosh. I heard it was happening in this area, but oh my goodness, I'm, where are your thoughts on electric cars? I understand about the environment, but I think that they need to focus more on the factories that put out more pollution than our little cars. I understand, you know, maybe the bigger vehicles, you know, trucks and heavy equipment, stuff like that. They need to do electric. But our little cars, you know, we can buy new cars and not have any problems. I'm from Massachusetts originally, and in Massachusetts, and y'all can tell me this too if you have it where you are, they have emissions tests. So they actually check your exhaust yearly to see how your exhaust is to be out on the road. And if you fail, you either have to get it fixed in a certain time frame or you're just going to have to get a new car. But we don't have that in South Carolina. And I am so thankful for that. And along with that, we don't have inspe inspection stickers, whereas in Massachusetts, we came from a state of having um, inspections. And they would check your horn, your wipers, your uh, rust on your car. You couldn't have a certain amount of rust. Your windshield wipers had to work. I'm not sure if that's everything that... I I said but anyways there's there's a bunch of things that they have to make sure that your mirrors are working and whatnot so uh, and you have to pay for the inspection so they're always getting money from you from somewhere but it is going on 3 p.m. and tell me this don't look like a space cadet car probably that panel is a charging station panel do they have them all in the same place on the car do they have the right and the left and maybe the back I don't know but yeah so I'm gonna be hey Mercedes Mercedes <laughs> um, Mercedes Benz my son works at Mercedes Benz and he says that they're pushing out electric cars. Hey, Todd. Um, I got to see him. I was so happy. I really wasn't sure if I would be able to because, you know, I, I came to town 
for the funeral and was very busy helping my friend Arlene who lost her husband on Saturday, April 8th and I was helping her do everything and prepare everything for the services and there were there was a lot of a lot of walls that we came up against unfortunately there was no life insurance so that part wasn't fun and I'm not going to get into all the details about all that but I will tell you that they do not cremate anybody until they have the money up front and if you don't in for this place and I used to work for hospice for four years so I I know about the prices in the area for cremations and burials and we would always have a list of several places in the area so we could tell our families and that was the cheapest in the area and years ago when I was doing that it was $800 for cremations and now it's like 1370 I think it was I'm not quite sure but it was maybe it was 1270 but it was up there and I worked at hospice probably five to six years ago and that's how much it's increased so that's just really sad but she ended up without having insurance she ended up having the service uh, at her home and she's got a big double wide with a big open living room and it totally goes from both sides of the double wide so you know like if you take the double wide apart one part of the double wide would be the living room and then the other one you put it together and it's one big living room so everything was moved out of there she is a pastor and she has had a lot of uh church services at her home so she's got a bunch of church um, comfortable chairs and I'm gonna share pictures of the setup of everything it's a really good one she's got the TV for services she's got the microphone and the laptop and the stand and everything so we didn't know how many people were gonna come and she put it on Facebook and didn't do a newspaper article or anything because everything costs so much. It's, it's ridiculous how they rob you when somebody passes away. But they had it at her place and there was a total, I kept counting because I was taking care of the door of people coming in because it was from five to seven. And uh, di different people keep kept coming in at different times. I think the last person rolled in like six six thirty, and then uh, served refreshments and stuff. But it all went smoothly. We all park were able to park our cars at a neighbor's place who had a lot of uh, land and driveway, and then everybody that was coming to the services were able to park on Arlene's driveway and yard but they were afraid to park on her yard and we purposely made sure that we had the place clear but they were afraid so I wanted somebody out there to direct traffic and I had a safety vest because I used to drive for an auto auction but I guess I should have been out there I was was inside trying to keep an eye on the money box for donations and you know let people come in so and her son came later and 
he had to go pick up his son from somewhere and that's who I thought could direct traffic. And one of the other guys that did a totally awesome job, his name's Sean, he did the, the TV and the computer programming, playing the music, playing the videos, playing the pictures. And he was taking everybody's cars and parking it next door before ever, anybody came. And then he ended up going out mowing the yard after the services. And I mean, this guy and his wife are just awesome. And they are planning to start their own church. So please um, pray for Sean and Allie. They are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. They currently are doing Bible study in their home and just pray for it to grow and for God to bless them above and beyond all that they could ask or think because they truly are wonderful servants of the Lord. God is, I know, just shining down on them. If they're blessing us, with what they're doing. I mean, I know that they can bless so many other people because they're so pure in heart. His wife did such a wonderful job helping to clean the home and get everything set up and put up curtains and doorways where they were needed and not just curtains, but she just lace over a solid burgundy color and she tied it back and this woman is she's got interior design touch and they're just such awesome people I they live uh, about 10 hours away from here I wish that they lived closer because I sure would love to see them more when I'm in town visiting my my kids, you know, it's it's hard when you don't go see them much, and then when you do, it's like, it, it's hard to see everybody, but there's other people in the Charleston area that I would like to be able to get to see, but this is uh, 12 and a half minutes, so I've been keeping you long enough. I hope that you will give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and it really helps my channel. Your comments help my channel. And please subscribe if you like my content and hit that bell if you don't wanna miss any upcoming videos because you never know what I might be doing next. I have something for everybody. And Mr. Thumbs Up is really coming along on his lighthouse, y'all. So I'll be filming that more when I get back to be nice, be kind, be nice, be encouraging, no matter where you are through the internet. We can touch lives, we can make a difference, we can make people smile, laugh, and give encouraging words. And Todd, if you have watched to the end, my son, he has told me he promised, he gets notifications of my um, videos, and he said that he watches them. And he says, what's this thing with your hand? You always like do this little wave thing at, in the middle of your screen. And I said, that's just me saying hi. He goes, well, I promise I'll watch all your videos if you don't do that anymore. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember not to do that because I wanted to watch my videos. All right, see you later.